Here are the answers to numbers 5 and 6 on the momentum review. In number 5, a glass ball, we're going to call that ball A, which has a mass of 0 0.05 kilograms, and it moves at a velocity of 2 meters per second. It collides with the second glass ball, we're going to call that ball B, it has a mass of 0 0.1 kilograms. They're moving along the same line, so it's like straight, straight into each other, um, and it's moving with a velocity of 1 meters per second. After the collision, ball A is still moving, uh, but with a velocity of 0.8 meters per second. This is an elastic collision. So first, part A, what is ball A's original momentum? Well, momentum is just mass multiplied by velocity. The mass was given at 0.05 kilograms. The velocity was given at 2. So that means it's going to have a momentum of 0.1 kilogram meters per second. Part B, what is ball A's change in momentum? Well, the momentum after the collision is given by the mass times the speed after the collision, which dropped down to 0.8 meters per second. So the momentum after the collision is 0 0.04 kilogram meters per second. Well, the change in momentum is the momentum after minus momentum before. Well, the momentum after was 0 0.04 kilogram meters per second. The momentum before the collision was 0.1, meaning that the change, it lost momentum. It lost 0 0.06 kilogram meters per second of momentum. Part C. What is ball B's change in momentum? Well, if ball A lost 0 0.06 kilogram meters per second, it had to go somewhere. Where did it go? It was given to ball B. So if ball A lost 0 0.06, ball B had to gain 0 0.06 kilogram meters per second because momentum is conserved. Now, uh, part D, what is the momentum of ball B after the collision? Well, we know the change in momentum for ball B was 0 0.06 kilogram meters per second. We just solved that. And we know that the momentum before is given by its mass, 0.1, times its speed, 1 meters per second. So we can use that equation of the change of momentum. Uh, we just have to rearrange it a little bit to find the momentum after the collision. So momentum after the collision is just going to equal the change plus however much it had at the beginning. So it gained 0 0.06 kilogram meters per second. And to start, it had 0.1 kilograms times 1 meters per second, which is 0.1. So if it had 0.1 to start, and it got 0 0.06 kilogram meters per second more, then the momentum after the collision has to be 0.16. So you just take how much it had at the beginning, and put and give it how much it gained, and you're going to get the momentum after the collision. Finally, for part E, what is ball B's speed after the collision? Well, the momentum equals mv. We're solving for the velocity after the collision, so I just have to divide by the mass. So the momentum um, after the collision is 0 0.16 kilogram meters per second. The mass was always 0.1, telling me that the speed has to be 1.6 meters per second after the collision for ball B. Number six. A 0 0.015 kilogram bullet is shot into a 5 kilogram wooden block standing on a frictionless surface. The block with a bullet in it acquires a velocity of 1 meters per second as it slides off after the bullet hits it. We're going to figure out how fast the bullet was moving before hitting the block. So we're going to write down our conservation of momentum equation, much like we used to write down our conservation of energy equation. The momentum of the bullet plus the momentum of the wooden block equals the momentum of the bullet and the momentum of the wooden block after the collision. That's what the primes are. But initially, this wooden block is just sitting on the table. It's not moving at all. So it doesn't have any initial momentum. So I'm just going to cross it out and not write it. So I have my mass of the bullet times the speed of the bullet. This is what I want. I want to know how fast the bullet was going when it was shot. Equals the mass of the bullet, V prime, plus mass of the wooden block, V prime. These two velocities are the same because the bullet and block stick together. So they move off with the same speed. They slide across the table since the bullet is now inside the wooden block. We are trying to solve for the velocity of the bullet. If you wanted to, you could factor out the velocity after the fact. You don't have to. If you were going to be plugging in your numbers, you can just keep them, uh, keep it multiplied in there. It's sort of up to you. And I'm going to divide by the mass of the bullet over here on the right side in order to solve for how fast the bullet was moving before it hit the wooden block. So the velocity before, or excuse me, after the collision is 1 meter per second. The two masses put together, 0 0.015 kilograms and 5 kilograms, and the mass of the bullet is 0 0.015 kilograms. These do not cancel. You cannot cancel the masses. There's a plus sign here. Please do not do that. You will get very weird answers, especially when the mass in the bottom is bigger than 0 0.015. When you uh, put all this in your calculator, you're going to get the speed of the bullet as it was shot, which is 334.3 meters per second.